Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for the month of July. This is going to be for Taurus. So, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July. We're going to start right here, see what comes up. Keep in mind that there's, you know, any time in July, okay, the timing is fluid. And this reading may or may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? So what do we have for Taurus for the month of July? Ah, the thinking woman. Ah. So the thinking woman is something about reading. May have something to do with reading. Uh, maybe you, somebody may be reading something that makes them really think about a certain um, situation in their life. So there could be even some reminiscing going on. Um, definitely going to be reading something that makes you think. Okay, she's reading a book, she's reading something. And it puts something into perspective. There's also an element of uh, being interrupted. It feels like she's being interrupted. Uh, so there's going, there could be an interruption here. Okay. Um, looks like we have a woman who. is very uh, perplexed. She's perplexed with something that she has read. This is a very well-read woman as well. Somebody that is very, very intelligent. Smart. Okay, same thing. Okay, so uh, reads a lot of books, something about books, reading books, um, focusing on growth. This, it feels like there's, this is like a librarian type of energy. And I wouldn't say this is a librarian, but it could be. But this is re really um, focusing on your knowledge perhaps this month. Or gaining knowledge over a situation. So we did. Oh, you! If you are the masculine watching this, you're dealing with a very intelligent woman. This woman is well read. She reads a lot. Okay, she's smart. She's, um, but she's also has. She's run across something that she's read something that has is making her think about either the past or the future or something. Okay, something has struck a nerve here. Hmm. Let's get a couple of these for Taurus. Oh, that one comes out. Oh, there we go. So what do we have? Well, we got a hand here. So in need of help, assistance, and guidance. So you're, somebody is going to be giving you a hand. Okay. Feather. Ooh. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Mountain Road. You are on the road to success. Basket, recognition, reward, or merit. Cane, pay attention to your health. Now, you usually need a cane when, you know, your back hurts, your, arm, your leg hurts, your knee hurts, or something, okay? So you really need to pay attention to your health. Uh, you may have a problem with one of your limbs, but, you know, a leg or a back or something like that. Um, you got a month of the year here. That fell out, so you're going to be recognized for your hard work. There's going to be a reward that is coming. 
You're on the road to success. You are. Feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. So they're, And you may know it. I think that you do. I do. I feel like we have a very smart individual here. And if it, whether you're male or female, there's somebody that you're dealing with that is not very sincere. In need of help, assistance, or guidance. And I think, I think it's this person who is insincere. I think, and I think that you know it. I think that you have somebody that is using you for some reason. Okay, I feel that way very strongly. Let's see what this is. This is the month of the year, September. Something is going to happen in September. I don't know what. What is going to happen in September? Anyway, what do we have? Something prominent is going to happen on September. In September. So anyway, what do we have for Taurus for the month of July? <sighs> Queen of Pentacles. Right off the bat. There you are. First card. Now, these cards are interesting. This could be the King of Pentacles. But... It's either the queen or the king. Either well, this is somebody who is very self-sufficient. Looks like this person has built their own fire. That is somebody who is very capable. Capable. A survivor. So we have a survivor here that is very capable of taking care of themselves. A natural. Okay. A natural survivor here. Um, wow. Wow. Very, very grounded in touch, in touch with the earth. You're going to be working on yourself this month as well. Me, you're probably going to be working alone quite a, quite a bit. I really feel that way. I feel, feel like you're going to be working alone quite a bit. You're working on your success, right? You may be reading books, writing books, something to do with books, you know, to gain knowledge, something about reading you know, uh, now this king or queen of pentacles is very devoted, a very hard worker. Very, and you know, that's the ace of pentacles right there. There is success here. There is success. So you're working on um, gaining knowledge or doing something to increase your financial success. Something to do with books, focusing, maybe you're writing a book or you're reading a book or mm, coming up, making plans, uh, going to school, gaining knowledge. Oh, God, this is the tower. So this is a change. The tower is a disruption of some sort. Stormy weather ahead. There is some stormy weather ahead, Taurus, okay? This is the tower, okay? The tower is an unexpected event. It's like a storm is brewing. There's a storm rolling in. You notice this person is holding on. Holding on, okay? So we got somebody. This is the tower. So we got a, we got a, a storm rolling in, okay? We definitely do. This is like unlucky as well. So, I, But I feel as though you're going to hold on. You may be dealing with some turbulence or some stormy weather, but I feel I feel like you are going to survive. Whatever is happening, you're going to survive. Okay, you're going to survive. I, I feel like you are very, very strong. So I think that you're going to be experience some, experiencing some sort of upheaval or chaos in your life, but I see you holding on and getting through it. Okay, I do. I, th I think, you, you know, I do. I think this storm will blow over, whatever it is. It's going to be an event that, um, you know, you may even think about giving up, okay? You may think about giving up. You may be thinking about letting go. You may think, is it worth it? You know, this, this is too much for me. Uh, you know, maybe I should just give up. But I'm telling you that you shouldn't give up. Don't give up. You're going to be successful, okay? Um... 
Your hard work is going to pay off. Five of Cups. So there's grieving here. There's grieving, there's sadness, there's separation, there's loss. There is. This is, a, there is. There's some sort of separation here with the Five of Cups. There's an opportunity that you are not seeing. You got the Two of Cups here. There's an opportunity for a partnership here, but it feels like you're focused on a loss or you're still moping, you're still crying. There's sadness, grieving over a loss. You may be missing an opportunity for love. Okay, there's the Two of Cups right there for a partnership, for a union with somebody. Now, a partnership doesn't have to be a... A partnership is a partnership, put it that way. It's a partnership with somebody that you are not seeing because of a sad situation. The Three of Cups reversed. There's been some sort of separation. Maybe you were involved with a third party situation, but there's grieving. Grieving over an event. Okay? So there's some sort of, sort of situation that is happening to you which causes you to... You know, really focus on what happened and why it happened and sadness. Just really, really sad. Uh, starting with a clean slate, we have the Fool right next to the Tower. So this is a universe card that is, is causing some sort of disruption in your life. Okay, it is. This, this is starting with a clean slate and this one is too. So you're going to be starting with a clean slate. Okay, you are going to be starting with a clean slate. This this situation that happens is going to break you free. Maybe you do let go of this false sense of security you've been holding on to. Because the tower is a false sense of security. Maybe maybe you do let go. Um I think there's that you you know, this is this is um this may even it feels like there's feeling ashamed. I don't know if you're feeling ashamed or feeling guilty or feeling embarrassed or don't want anybody to see you, don't want anybody to know what you know that you made a mistake or something like that. But with the tower here, this is a false sense of security that is, you know, obviously that limb isn't going to last forever, but you're going to survive. You are I know that you're going to survive. So this is this it's like letting go surrendering to the universe you are going to let go i think it's going to be sad you're going to be letting go of something that you were trying to hold on to okay so i don't know what it is but it's it's like you can't hold on to it anymore and i think it's a it is going to bring about some sort of sadness so you're going to be you are you're going to be breaking free and it's against your choice by the looks of things i, I feel like the universe forces you to let go of it. Um, this is starting with a clean slate, starting over, starting from scratch. Um, so yeah, you're going to be starting from scratch. This is an exciting opportunity. Okay, after the tower falls, because there's going to be a tower moment where something changes, something big changes, okay? You're forced to let go of something that you have been holding on to. You may end up on your own, okay? This Queen of Pentacles or King of Pentacles, whichever one it is, um, it seems to be by themselves, okay? Um, anyhow, but this is starting with a clean slate, going your own way. This is a new phase is about to begin, okay? Um... Spur of the moment, and so isn't this. The Tower and the Fool are both spur of the moment. So there's some sort of sudden change, okay? Ooh, the lovers. Unexpected choice in love. Now, the, now remember, we saw the Two of Cups here. You weren't seeing it. The universe is bringing you an, an opportunity for love. I know that's what's happening, and it's very unexpected. It feels like you go from alone to in a commitment, or in a, a or, or you connect with somebody that is your perfect match. It, but you know, this the, the lovers is a choice. It's a choice between two. It is. 
It is a choice between two, and this would suggest that as well. You've probably been holding on to a false sense of security, okay? You've been holding on to something that is weak, okay? Because that limb is weak right there. It is weak. It can't, it's weak, okay? It's not very strong. You can't hold on to it for much longer. And I feel like the universe is going to bring about some sort of event or situation, you know, where, you know, you are forced to let go of this situation that uh, is based on false pretenses and come together with something, somebody that is perfect. This is a perfect match, okay? This is a perfect match, okay? This is somebody with dark hair. It looks like if if you are the, you know, if you are the feminine, this person is brown hair, brown hair, something like that. That's what it looks like. Anyhow, um, some of you may even be getting engaged or getting married or being getting proposed to. But this is starting with a clean slate, starting fresh, taking a risk. Uh, getting involved with somebody suddenly very spur of the moment this is all of a sudden you may be running into somebody all of a sudden you're doing your own thing you're working you're, and remember i said there's some sort of interruption here it feels like you're doing your own thing you're not really focused on finding anybody or running into anybody or developing a connection especially if you are single but this connection develops if you are in a relationship now your 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 relationship may be stepping it up to the next level all of a sudden okay um this is an unexpected choice in love between two people um this is a perfect 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 match with somebody with for two people that have shared values um, this is a new journey, a new chapter, a new phase of life with a perfect match. And you're about to start a new chapter, a new journey with somebody. And this is chapters as well. So we're, you're about to start a new chapter, a new chapter with somebody. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. So there's a healer here. There's a healer, a uh, medium, a psychic. You know, there's, there's this person is. See the crystal? There's like a crystal ball here. There's like a psychic, a healer, um, somebody that is very intuitive, that is delivering a message. So this is a healer. So it looks like we have a, a healer here that is um, somebody is going to be telling you about it or the person that you're dealing with is a healer or you're a healer or you're a tarot reader or a psychic or a medium or something like that. Now this is this is a healer. This, this so one of these people is a healer. Now the ace we got to look at that cup. There's a big huge opportunity. This person has a big heart. There's a huge opportunity for love here. You could be dealing with a water sign or a Gemini or an Aries or something like that. You're really going to have to think about whatever it is that you are proposed as well. Um you're going to be thinking a lot this month, though, about a connection, okay? You're going to be thinking about a connection. Maybe it's about whether you want to give up your independence, okay? Um, this is risky business with the Fool card. So this is an event that happens all of a sudden that makes you think about your future, okay? So just keep that in mind. Something big is going to happen. Oh, the hangman reversed. So I don't know. The hangman reversed is struggling to let go. Okay, you you, or somebody that you are dealing with, either they've been struggling to let go of you or you've been struggling to let go of them. We talked about this already. I think that we have somebody here that has been struggling to let go of their past or somebody that hurt them. Um, missing an opportunity for love. Somebody has been missing an opportunity for love, holding on to a false sense of security. 
but they're about to take a risk. Something is going to happen. Okay, it really is with the tower and the fool and the lover's card. This is a very unexpected choice in love that happens all of a sudden, out of the blue. You never saw it coming. This is a healing love. There's a sexual connection. There's some sort of alignment. There's falling in love with somebody. There's a commitment. There's a soulmate connection. This is, uh, you know, needing to focus on the future. Needing to go into this with blind faith and take a risk. And not let your fears or your, uh, yeah, it's fears. Your fears stop you from falling in love, okay? Because you're maybe falling in love with somebody this month and it scares you or something like that. This is an event that makes you feel uncomfortable, put it that way. It is. Chariot reversed. Now, I don't know if you're dealing with a cancer. Could be dealing with a cancer or, cancer or a Pisces. You have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here, Gemini here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn up there, Scorpio, Fool, Aries. Now what? Okay. So we got we got quite a few majors here. This is big. It is definitely big. This is a big, huge event. It is life changing. Okay. Now this is uh, uh the chariot reversed is. Uh, emotional, very emotional, emotions all over the place. And with the Five of Cups, I think that you, you will, this will be a very emotional time. Okay? I think you may be feeling scatterbrained. You may be, maybe you're, you know, uh, because you got to make a choice. That This is a choice. Okay, you got to make a choice between... You know, somebody that you're hanging on to or they're hanging on to you and somebody else that you have connected with. That's what I look like. That's what it looks like to me. I feel like uh, there could be an emotional outburst ahead from somebody. Okay, you could be dealing with somebody that can't control their emotions and they have an outburst and... and you know, it causes some sort of tears. There could be an angry. Somebody could get angry and that could be the event that changes your direction. Okay. That puts things to a stop. Now the chariot reversed. I'm, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but there could be some car issues, some car problems. Um, the hangman reversed is somebody that is obsessed with control that has a very big ego that may not want to let you go so you may be dealing with that as well um this is the queen that is the king the queen of pentacles reversed now i thought that was the king because i do women in this deck for the kings and queens but anyway this is the queen of pentacles in reverse so i feel like there's a uh, you may there may there could be some jealousy issues. There could be some possessiveness. There could be uh, suspicions. Okay, there's insecurity here. Uh, you could be dealing with somebody that is unfaithful. Okay, um, and you may suspect it. Maybe you suspect it that this person is unfaithful. Ah, Four of Wands reversed. Now this is a separation, okay? The Four of Wands reverse is. I feel like what is happening is the honeymoon is over. The party is over with one individual that you were holding on to or they were holding on to you. Either they are having a hard time letting go or you are having a hard time letting go. There's, it's like there's no chance that this is going to evolve. And it's, and it's difficult to connect with this other person because of this issue. I think that you are going to have to make a choice based on what your heart wants. I feel as though you are about to become more committed to somebody else. And the person that is in the background is going to throw fit. 
get prepared. I see that you have a new opportunity coming to you. Okay, this is uh, this is a gift. Okay, a blessing. They are bringing you something that could lead to long-term stability, long-term security. This could grow into something uh, that could really, really last. Okay. You are being given a gift this month. Don't throw it away. This is something, this is a new solid opportunity for abundance. You manifested this. This is something that you asked for. So you're going to be given an opportunity or a gift, okay? And it's from the universe. It is from the universe. And, and But you're also going to have to make a choice because you're, well, you are, you're going to have to make a choice to let go of something or someone that you have been hanging on to or they've been hanging on to you. You know, you may have to uh, put a stop to this, okay? You may have to block them, whatever the case is. You are about to go in a new direction and you are starting a new chapter with somebody that you are uh, very much in tune with. This person is, you think alike, you you feel very comfortable with this person. You don't have to pretend to be somebody you're not like you did with the other person. It's just an easy connection. So I feel like in July, uh, you're going to be pleasantly surprised with a connection that is going to grow into something um, beautiful. But you got somebody in the background that is not going to be happy with this development. Good luck.